tell me why the assistant principal starts going off and she all the way up here with this antenna this close to my face so i literally was like not only was i cussing her out but i literally started squaring up with this bitch Hi, I'm Tassie and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome home. And if you're a new subscriber, make yourself at home by clicking that subscribe button. And you know, I usually don't do this on my channel because y'all know that I'm all about organic growth. I don't really do too much, but I've been noticing, you know, your girl's been getting a few views. Like she's been getting a few people tuning into her content, which I am very, very happy for. But a lot of y'all are not subscribed. And let's be real, half of the content that I give y'all is like makeup advice, shopping advice, and let me tell you, those stuff are not cheap, okay? Because I feel like a lot of people are like visual people, so yeah, I can just name off some stuff and tell you, go shop for it, go buy it. I don't necessarily have to own it myself, but it's like, it's kind of beneficial for me to know exactly, exactly what I'm talking about and for me to have the possession of the product and show you guys, and those products ain't free. Your girl is definitely getting the hours that she needs in order to get monetized, but I'm not getting the subscriber count to match. So if you want to see consistent content from me and you want to be one of the first people to know when I post, you have to follow me and you have to keep your notifications on to see when I post, honey. This ain't the old YouTube, you know? They don't care about if you go viral or if you got one video that does good as far as the audience. They don't care. They want to see numbers, poo. So if you care about me, you need to help your girl out. But anyways, we're here for a completely different reason. So today I am back with another story time. The last story time that I gave y'all, y'all actually did pretty decent when viewing it. Cause when I first released that video, I did not put any tags on it. I completely forgot. I think I was just so focused on trying to get that video out to y'all. I had completely forgot and y'all got me to 28 views within a few hours of me posting. So clearly y'all prefer my story times. Y'all like hearing about all the drama that I get into. So today I'm coming to you with another story time and baby, this is not clickbait. It is not clickbait. I know you read that title and you thought, oh, okay, yeah, it's not true. Psych! No, baby. It's not clickbait. I literally had beef with my assistant principal during high school. And it was a beef that existed all the way up until I graduated. I'm not even joking. I did not like this woman and this woman clearly did not like me. And we were just going tit for tat the whole entire time I was there. It was just, it was crazy. Listen, we're having a story time for a reason. I will tell you guys all the details. And while I am telling you guys this story time, this might be a little ghetto, but I'm going to be putting all my press on nails. You can't even see it cause it's like super bright. These are um, Kiss Gel. As you can see, like my natural nails, it's just not given what it's supposed to give. I have not gotten my nails done professionally in like a really, really long time. So I just been wearing press on nails for like majority of this time, right? But I discovered these and these actually aren't that bad. I've had a lot of people ask me like, where'd I get my nails done? Or like, oh my gosh, your nails are so cute. And it's like, baby, they literally just some press ons. I bought these at Kroger's. Literally, I bought these at Kroger's. So I'm gonna be putting these on cause I need to take pictures later on today because i've been y'all i have been slacking on so much content y'all can probably tell if you're subscribed but no seriously like you can probably tell i have been slacking on content because i have been just so done with my job it, it's not like i hate my job but honestly like i'm getting to a point to where it's like i am done i'm done like i don't want to work for nobody no more i don't want to work customer service no more like i just don't want anything to do with anything um so you know i've been i've been slacking i've been abandoning y'all and i'm so sorry but that's why i'm coming to y'all with a story time to make up for it because y'all know i don't usually do story times i don't like being messy a little bit but um i don't like being messy i don't like bringing up old stuff but y'all know y'all want to hear this story so while we're telling the story, I will be being ghetto and putting on my nails. And you know you gonna watch it, so stay tuned so you can know how I was beefing with my assistant principal. Oh my God, I forgot, ignore my dirty clothes. Ignore my dirty clothes. Okay, so, so the year is 2012. 
I end up going to Robert A. Taft Information Technology High School. And when I first got to that school, you know, like everything was nice. I actually really liked the school when I first got there. But things just like kind of took a turn like after my first year of being there, like literally after my first year, everything just kind of went left. So this story time doesn't start um, until my sophomore year, my sophomore year of high school. So basically by my sophomore year of high school, our whole entire um, school district, Cincinnati Public School, our whole entire school district decided that they now wanted the middle schoolers to be in the same school or like the same school building as high schoolers. And for a long time, they did not have it set up like that. They had the middle schoolers in elementary school and the high schoolers were just high schoolers unless you went to like, I think, SCPA, I think Euler. It was like a, a handful of schools where they were like K through 12 or like they started in middle school all the way up to high school. But majority of high schools in CPS, they were just regular, regular high schools. So I purposely, like literally, I purposely decided I'm gonna go to this school because they don't have K through 12. Like I felt like, which is dumb, but you know, I felt like, girl, I'm grown. I'm, I'm big time, man. I don't have time to be sitting here looking at these little kids, act a fool and do this and do that. Like, I don't wanna be around them. I'm too good for them. And then literally after my freshman year of high school, they decide to merge middle school with high school. I was so pissed. I was honest to God, so upset, but I couldn't do anything about it, but just roll with the punches. So because of this big change, there were some more big changes that had happened throughout the rest of my school. And one of those changes was not only our principal, but also our assistant principal. Cause originally we did have our own assistant principal and we did have like our own principal, but whatever happened to her, she like quit at the very beginning of the school year and it was it was mad weird like i didn't know what was going on but i was just like okay cool but let me tell you something from the moment that i met this woman she introduced herself to the whole like little uh to the whole little student body or whatever from the moment that i met this woman i low-key had a feeling about her but I didn't know what that feeling was about. I didn't really know like why I felt that way about her. I just know that I was just not vibing with sis from the jump. It just was not gonna work out. And then not only that, like as she started really like going into her role as like the assistant principal or whatever, she was like way, way more demanding than our actual principal. And keep in mind, like our actual principal was like, he at first wasn't the principal when I was there as a freshman, but um, he was actually, uh, I don't know what he was. He was an assistant principal, but he was some type of hierarchy and he ended up getting the job. Good for him. You know what I'm saying? Like good for him. But when he got this job, it's like he was kind of like still, you know, trying to get a feel for what to do with the rest of the student body, especially because he got a job during this gigantic shift you know what i'm saying like once upon a time there were no middle schoolers and now we have to deal with middle schoolers like that's a lot to adjust to that's a lot to deal with so he was trying to figure out like okay so what should i do in this situation right but she seemed to be the only person and i guess it was because she was new and she was trying to make like a good like make good face or whatever but she was just doing a lot like she was trying to enforce rules that we ain't even know was in the student handbook that we ain't been following since 2000 2010 okay like before I even got there and she was just doing entirely too much so I already knew from jump like me and this girl are probably not gonna get along and that's fine but at the end of the day she stay out of my way I stay out of her way because I wasn't a bad kid you know what I'm saying like I was not a bad kid by any means so it's like I'm, I'm not gonna have no issues with this woman that was my thought. I'm not gonna have no issues with this woman. So I'll be fine. So I don't even know how to go into this smoothly because I feel like I don't even know. Like it was just a weird situation. But basically, long story short, 
So due to the fact that we now had the middle schoolers, a lot of our resources were like messed up and even the way that we conducted like switching classes and stuff, it was completely different. Not to mention, I should have mentioned that before, our school, like our whole entire school building really didn't have room for these kids. We really didn't have room for them. So that was another contributing factor. But basically because we didn't have room for them and they had changed a lot, our little lunch bells had changed as well. So due to the fact that our lunch bells are now changed, I guess this woman just thought like, okay, this is my time to step in and try to like deviate the situation. Child, I don't know but let me tell you what this woman did so one day we walk into the cafeteria and the way that we usually did it when we went to go get our lunches is that you would either go straight into line and then go sit down or you would sit down claim your table go into line basically it's like you have the freedom to do whatever you want to do because it's lunch time that's our free time right so one day we come into lunch and of course we have like somebody up on the stage kind of chaperoning us and supervising us because that's what they usually do and the moment that we come into the cafeteria she says sit down y'all sit down sit down i want everybody to be seated first i'm thinking like oh, okay i guess cool or whatever and just keeping it real i went to a school that was pretty much like it was in the hood it was in the hood i'm not even gonna sugarcoat it it was in the hood we used to have like metal detectors when we would come in they would have to check our bags and stuff like yeah my school was kind of ghetto i'm not even gonna lie about that so as sad as it sounds when she brought us in and was telling us to like sit down or whatever i thought she was going to tell us that like one of our um fellow students had got shot and killed or something or like um somebody had ran away because there was a point in time where this girl like my freshman year this girl had ran away and it was like all over the news and stuff like that so i'm thinking like something like that about to happen and this woman continues to talk and she basically ends up saying I'm going to start dismissing you guys by tables to go up and get your lunch because it's too chaotic. What? Now keep in mind, the most chaotic thing that happened during my lunch bill was the fact that there were certain people that used to try and cut in line and then you would literally have to cuss them out and tell them like, bro, like get the gone somewhere but um at the end of the day like it really wasn't anything like like there was nothing hectic about anything that was going on so i'm sitting there like what does she mean to take down all the hectic stuff like what is she talking about and we all were confused but then not only that i'm thinking about how dumb and ineffective that is too because i'm just like we are too old to be dismissed by tables like we're entirely too old to be dismissed like that because i remember back when i was in middle school like i said they used to have the the middle schoolers in elementary school back when i was in school they used to do that when we were like you know we would come into lunch and then they would dismiss us by um tables because we all sat in the same classroom like we had to sit with our class or whatever but we in high school and none of us sit with our classroom none of us even sit with half of our classmates will sit with people that we don't even have classes with like why are we doing that that's kind of dumb so I forgot to mention this another thing that was weird about this situation was that like in elementary school we had two separate lines like two separate cashiers so that also kind of like made it more effective to dismiss us by tables and by like classes and stuff because then it's like one class would sit over here the next class would sit over there and we would go through two separate lines and then it would just like you know kind of like fall in line once you start going towards the middle or whatever and in this particular setting with us being in high school we did have two checkout lanes but basically the chaos that she was talking about was basically at the entryway so listen to how dumb that is that she's dismissing people by tables to go through two different lines because the entryway is apparently too hectic and too crowded that's stupid so like let's say on average you're sitting at a table where it's like you and six other friends and you and those six other friends have to go through the line completely before she sends up another table you you see why that's stupid right you see why that doesn't make any sense 
I mean, it didn't make any sense even without that information, but that just makes it worse, right? But then not only that, take into consideration, like, while you sitting here trying to rally us up and say, like, okay, I want y'all to be dismissed by tables, you're not taking into consideration that, like, you know, we only have a certain amount of time to eat. So it's really weird that, like, you thought this was a smart idea. But at first, I'm just kind of like, oh, okay, I guess. Especially because, like, the place that me and my friends were sitting at at the time it was like in the front because basically we had one of those cafeterias that was also like kind of doubling as an auditorium like you know they had that stage or whatever so i'm thinking in my head like okay you know like we're gonna be called up first because we're closer she calls up the people in the back and they were like the people that were in the back by the door like damn near going out the door it, it's hard to explain because our our school building was kind of built in like a hexagonal shape but basically she gets people from the far far back then not only that i'm thinking if she's gonna dismiss people by tables like she's more so dismissing people by like sections you know what i'm saying no no miss girl was literally dismissing people by individual tables and she would wait until they were halfway done getting their food or like practically out of the line to call the next table and i'm sitting there like why is this smart why does she think this was more effective that makes no sense so we finally get our food and you know everything's going smoothly for a second and we're just like okay this bitch is weird i hope she not doing this the whole entire time and she see how stupid this is because this just don't make no damn sense but then the bell rings which means it's time for us to dismiss go to classes and um you know all that other stuff like y'all been to high school before you know what i'm talking about but basically our bell dismisses like our bell rings for us to be dismissed and we all getting up ready to just be like all right let's go to class so we don't be late you know this girl said no sit down y'all why like we gotta go to class so then tell me why she says i will be dismissing y'all by tables so that it's not so chaotic in the hallway bitch th th at this point at this point at this point i was over her and i'm just like oh yeah she's on some stupid shit because here's the thing that i don't understand high school is high school high school hallways are always going to be hectic because we have two minutes to get our belongings from our little lockers or whatever and then make it to class on time. We've all had those few teachers where it's like, it doesn't matter if you made it just in time for the bell, they are going to shut the door and you're not going to be permitted into class. Then not only that, I'm not even saying this to be a slight flex, but not only that, I remember my freshman year, I was in the honors class from jump. And one of our first bells, I believe was computer foundations. And that was on the same floor as the um, the sophomores, right? All of the freshmen were on the floor that the, uh, the middle schoolers are on now, which is the first floor. So I remember when we were going to school and how hectic it was for us to have majority of our classes on the first floor, but we gotta go all the way to the second floor in order to get our belongings from our lockers because our lockers were determined by our homeroom class. So it's just like, just put all of that into perspective. And especially if you like went to a big school, like, like if you went to Withrow or something and your locker is on the whole complete other side of that gigantic campus. Sweetheart, why does that make sense? like this is high school if the hallways are going to be hectic they're going to be hectic you can't control that but then not only that like we only have a certain amount of time to go to class like what are you doing but because this is the first time that she's done this and you know in my brain i'm thinking like okay she kind of like testing test driving whether um this is going to work or not then we have nothing to worry about like okay we'll be cool or whatever so we basically look at her doing this minute bs dismissing people individually from tables and there came a point in time like i always made it on time because i used to like 
like I used to kind of sort of hate going to my locker a little bit so I used to have like majority of the stuff that I needed on me and then it helped me study better to kind of like I had I had one of those notebooks where they had like dividers and stuff so I usually just carried around like the same notebook for like two to three of my classes and just took notes so I was fine but there were certain people where like you know on the first day of this being in effect they were getting you know the bell like they were not permitted to come to class because they were super duper late and there were times where the bell would ring for them to be like officially in class and she would still be dismissing them she would still be dismissing them by tables like no this table go up no this table go up okay now this table can go up stupid and it's just like girl what are you doing but then when the people would be late to um to class and they would tell them like yeah we were held up at lunch she was dismissing us by tables tell me why none of the teachers believed any of the students when they used to say that none of them and i know that sounds super duper weird to y'all right because it's like well why wouldn't they believe them first of all i already told y'all i go to school in the hood they think all of these kids are never going to make it to college so they treat everybody like a delinquent unless you go above and beyond they are going to treat you like a delinquent they're not going to believe anything that you tell them at all so it doesn't matter but not only that let's talk about the fact that this woman came up with this idea all on her own by herself and she didn't tell any of the faculty members that she was putting this into effect huh? once again mamas why was that smart why did you think that was intelligent it wasn't so this is the part that like really really killed it too let's talk about how like she was doing this for about two to three months straight regardless of how many kids were telling their teachers like yeah she was dismissing us by tables so we couldn't get here on time because she literally held us in the lunchroom teachers still didn't believe the students because she still did not tell any of the faculty members that this is how she was handling the lunch bills like I don't know what was going through her head, but that alone made me not like her on top of the fact that she was trying to be overly strict because I guess she's trying to show out and show that she can be like an affirmative person. I, I don't know, but she was just mad weird, especially after that. Like she was just mad weird for some reason and I just was not feeling her. So of course, three months into the future, there comes a day where she does the same shit and she's just like dismissing people by tables, whatever, whatever. It comes the end of our lunch bell she's dismissing us by tables of course and as she dismisses us one of my friends that I was sitting with and keep in mind like our table was at the very front of the lunch room so we were like directly in front of the little stage that she was on where she would like use the microphones and dismiss people by tables and stuff so me and my friends are sitting at this table getting ready to go she dismisses our table and we get dismissed as soon as the bell rings so it's like we gotta you know like we gotta hurry to fuck up because we gotta go and my friend for some reason brings a two liter of pop to school I don't know why she brought the two liter of pop because you know like we weren't sharing it we weren't all taking drinks out of it it was literally just all hers but she brought a two liter of pop to school and there was still like enough in it because obviously it's two liter right so as we're getting up i don't know if she didn't screw the top on all the way or like what happened but basically we get up right and either her chest bumps it or she like bumps it with her hand or something like that but to say the least she bumps it and the pop spills like all over the table and i kid you not like it spills we look as it's spilling because you know like you do that little <gasps> when you spill something we all did that and looked at that and i kid you not tell me why the assistant principal starts going off on our table <laughs> going off and she's just like nah y'all gotta clean that up y'all gotta clean that up and da -da -da -da. like with an attitude and everything and i'm sitting here like and this is literally like y'all this literally happened within a few seconds literally so she literally seen something spill and just started going off talking about y'all need to clean that up and da -da 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 -da. basically insinuating that we was about to just leave it there but like no we weren't 
because that's one thing I will say like in that situation there was like um one of the lunch ladies that was kind of like close to us when that had happened and of course like we ain't the type of people to just oh that's her job you know what I'm saying but like she was right there she seen it all happen so I'm pretty sure she would have took the initiative to clean it up or you know the fact that I don't hang out with dirty people my friend was definitely gonna be like oh I need a rag let me clean this up da -da 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 -da. You know what I'm saying? But literally she seen it spill. She didn't even give nobody a chance. And when I tell you like, that's another thing too. When it spilled, nobody left, nobody moved. So it's like the fact that she insinuated that we just was gonna make a mess and not clean it up, it was weird. Then not only that, like not trying to throw my friend up under the bus, but she's the one that spilled it. She spilled it. That's her drink. Like that was her pop. And the next thing that came out this bitch mouth that set me off, she says nobody is leaving this table until it gets cleaned up once again my friend this one individual person is the person that spilled the pop why are you holding a whole table back from going to class on time because of a spill first of all second of all you didn't give anybody any time to even attempt to clean it up. So like you're going off and you have an attitude for what? Like it doesn't make any sense. So I don't remember what I did. I, I don't remember what was said. I, I honest to God do not remember what I said to this woman. But all I know is the moment that she said, oh, y'all can't leave until it gets cleaned up. I picked my shit up and I started walking. I showed it. And don't give a fuck. And don't. I did. I did. I did. I picked my shit up and I started walking. And I'm pretty sure I probably said something to her because my friends had like gasped for a second and was like, but I don't remember what I said. I probably told that bitch to kiss my ass or I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's just, I remember that she had me messed up and I just started walking and I started walking. Like, um, I could have left like, cause there was a hallway that was right next to the stage. I could have left that way. But I think in my head, I was like, this way is closer to my classroom. So I started walking that way. And it was technically the long way because I would have been in the hallway had I had went down that hallway. I don't know what I was thinking. But basically I had went like the long way. And as I'm walking, tell me why as I'm walking, it's still like a good amount of people in the lunchroom. Cause like I said, she was dismissing people individually for some reason. So it's still a good amount of people in the lunchroom and Tell me why this stupid, dumbass bitch grabs the microphone and is telling the microphone, young lady, young lady, young lady, young lady. And I'm still walking because it's like, first of all, I heard you the first time because I'm literally sitting at a table that's right in front of the stage, which you are standing on. And I heard you in the same tone as when you told us that none of us were getting up from the table until the mess was cleaned. I don't know why you hopped on the microphone as if I couldn't hear you. But um, now you just caused the scene and made it look stupid. So when she did that, I rerouted my whole plan and I'm just like, you know what? Now I'm not going to go to class. Now I'm going to go straight to the office and I'm going to talk to the principal and I'm going to um, tell him like, I don't like her. I don't like how she's running things and I was gonna call my mom because at that time I didn't have a phone so I literally had to use the the um phones that was in the office in order to call her so I pretty much was just like yep I'm going to the office and that's the same way that I'm going so while I'm walking she sits there still on the microphone saying young lady young lady but then she she says on the microphone somebody tap her somebody get her for me once again i know you're talking to me i'm literally the only person walking in this whole entire lunchroom right now i know you're talking to me everyone knows that you're talking to me and can you believe that somebody really tapped me and said hey she wants you duh bitch duh like you must be related to her because y'all both some dummies like i couldn't believe this shit. i'm sitting there like bro literally fuck everybody right now so i'm walking i'm walking i'm walking and she finally gets the smart idea to grab her walkie talkie and tell one of the security guards hey don't let her leave blah 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 blah. and that was another thing too why did you have that many security guards in the lunchroom like this was jail 
We literally had like one security guard that would be in the lunchroom from time to time. She had all them bitches out. Like she was the president or some shit. Like, I don't know what's wrong with this bitch. But she calls one of the security guards and the security guard sees me and he's shocked because like I said, I was never the type of kid that got into trouble a lot. So when the security guard seen that it was me, he was just kind of like, you know, because with me being a good kid, and that's one thing I will say, because I was such a well-behaved child, I did get special treatment. I did get a lot of people that, you know, like gave me the benefit of the doubt and I got it out of a lot of situations where I should have got in trouble for. But in this situation, it's like, because I'm a good kid, people know that if you hear me getting in trouble or you hear me popping off on somebody or whatever, they started shit with me. Cause I don't do nothing to nobody. Anytime I pop off, it's because these bitches started some shit with me and I finished that shit, period. So when he seen me, he was just like, whoa, whoa, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's happening? And I told him, I need to go to the office. And he's like, okay, but she wanna talk to you. I said, no, I don't wanna talk to her. I need to go to the office and he's sitting there like trying to calm me down and it's just like trying to reason with me or whatever and then he comes with me and he's like kind of holding my shoulders a little bit like listen listen let's just go up here real quick i'm gonna talk to her i'm gonna try to figure out what's wrong so we walk back up there together right and i don't know if during the com i'm sorry my camera cut off but um i don't know if during the commotion people started packing their stuff up and leaving but basically it got to a point to where almost the whole cafeteria was kind of sort of empty besides my table of people and well no i take that back it was still people in there but it wasn't like a large amount of people because people pretty much got up through but it was still some people that was like towards the front of the lunchroom right so as we're going up there he's taking the initiative to be like okay i'm gonna talk to this woman i'm gonna talk to her you just stand right there you just calm down so i come up there right along with him he didn't get a chance to get a word out this woman starts going off with an attitude again and let me tell you what just th th this listen so she cuts him off even though he's trying to talk to her and ask her questions and do stuff with her because he's just like hey like let me talk to you real quick this lady completely disregards the security guard completely disregards this man she he literally was standing in front of her i was standing to the side of her over here mind you she's still on top of this stage or whatever tell me why she disregards him comes over to me and is going off like you're disrespectful and blah 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 blah. but not only is she doing this tell me why she got the walkie talkie right she got the walkie talkie and she this is too big but tell me why she got the walkie talkie and she's pointing the antenna in my face and it's like literally literally y'all this far from my face and keep in mind she's standing on top of the stage right this lady shorter than me she she a itty bitty person so just imagine she's standing on top of this stage that probably goes to like my chest or something and she all the way up here with this antenna this close to my face <laughs> Bitch, I lost it. I motherfucking lost it. I don't know what I said to this woman. I really cannot tell you word for word what I said, but I start cussing that bitch out. Like I called her all types of bitches. I told her she could go fuck herself. I, I said so much, okay? And then not only that, like I started, it's bad, okay? I'm not telling y'all to be like me, but it was so bad. Like the fact that she was in, like, listen, 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 listen. I am very big on personal space. I'm very big on respect. When that woman put an antenna in my face like I was a dog, it set me off. So I literally was like, not only was I cussing her out, but I literally started squaring up with this bitch because I was so tempted to grab her and just throw her down to the floor and start beating her ass. Like, I'm not even joking with y'all. I'm not saying this for clout. I'm not saying this to get a laugh out of nobody. I am being so serious. I felt so highly disrespected. I low key treated this bitch like she was a bitch on the street because I'm just like, ain't no way you doing all of this. 
and you call yourself an authority figure. You don't put nothing in nobody's face. I am a child, but I am not your child. And even if I was your child, my parents never even do that to me. You are not gonna disrespect me like that. Period, point blank, you are not going to disrespect me like that. So my friends are looking at this shit. The security guard is looking at this shit. The people that are left in the cafeteria looking at this shit. And literally, I, I don't remember who all did what, but I remember the security guard literally grabbed me and sat me down because I literally was about to drag this bitch off the motherfucking stage. Like I was literally about to show out on this bitch. And then not only that, I think, which is funny, one of my friends, what should I call him? I don't know what to call him. But like, let's, let's just say my friend, right? One of my friends, I don't know what he was doing. I don't know why he did it, but he pretended to flip the table over. He was pretending like he was about to flip the table over because like he was kind of hyping me up. Like, yeah, I want to see you rock this bitch. Like, honestly, all of my friends were kind of hyping me up to rock this bitch. Cause when I tell you nobody liked her, nobody liked her. So they were just like, we ain't about to stop her go ahead you know what i'm saying but he had pretended to try and flip the table over so she ended up getting him in trouble too so basically what she did was that she said that me and him me and my friend we ended up getting days she called it days it's called removal y'all like i said this bitch do too much but um she says that we're on removal she told us that we had to sit at this specific table with some other kids that were about to be placed on removal right so we sit at this table and then she passes out papers and the paper says like why were you put on removal or like um why did you get in trouble it was something like that but basically you write your own version of what happened and how you got there so i wrote on the paper word for word every single thing that happened because what i got a lot for i ain't got nothing to lie about i'm, I'm gonna tell the truth i know what happened she know what happened i felt disrespected you put an antenna in my face i almost beat your ass it's the truth that's what happened so i'm not about to sit up here and lie so i wrote on this piece of paper and she's basically telling us to wait right there because i guess it's some paperwork that we need in order to say that we got removed or whatever i don't know but tell me why we were sitting at these tables but tell me why we we waiting on these removals right we waiting on it and after lunch at that time after lunch i had three bells after that this woman kept us for two class bells, two whole class bells. And like pretty much majority of the third class bell besides like the last 10, 20 minutes of class, right? She had us just sit there. And then when she had to go handle something, she told one of her, um, I don't even know what he was supposed to be. He was somewhat like a security guard, but he was up under her. She tells him, write them passes to go to class. Once again, y'all, this is the reason why I did not like her. It's like, what sense do it make to make us miss class time? And then you don't even give us the removals that you say we're supposed to get. Like, what was the point of doing all of that? You thought, oh, I'm going to put them in time out. No, that was dumb because you just made us miss out on education time. We're in school, bitch. So like, what was the point of keeping us there? It doesn't make any sense. And in the papers that we wrote on saying like why we got removed or whatever, she didn't even collect them. She didn't even want them. We just left them on the table. They probably threw them away. So it's just like, once again, you did all of this for what? You did all of this for what? That's abusing your power. Cause that literally did not have to happen. And you just made all these kids miss out on valuable educational time because you want to be petty. And it's weird. It's mad weird. So then as she's like, um, as the dude is like writing us passes or whatever, I see him talk to my friend and my friend is actually engaging in conversation. And I already know it's him like, you know, talking to him, like, why did you do that? Blah, blah, blah. So then I go, I'm lining up to go and get my little, uh, my pass to go back to class or whatever. And when I go up there, he's trying to do that shit with me too. Like, why would you say that? Blah, blah, blah. And I say, can I get a pass? I mean, I hate to be insensitive, but baby, you're not Mr. Clark. We ain't about to have this heart to heart moment. We, we not about to be like, oh, why did you? You're not going to put me on removal. That bitch said she was going to put me on removal. I'm still here. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care what y'all talking about. Give me a pass to go to class. And he's still trying to. But why did you give me a pass? But how did you give me a pass? But how did you give me a pass? Like, we not here for that. 
Like, I don't know what's wrong with these people. We are not here for that. You are not Mr. Clark. This is not a heart to heart moment. This is not Freedom Writers. This is none of that. OK, this is none of that. But then he had said something about how, you know, you have to follow her orders because that's what she said. Duh, 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 duh. And I said, I'm not about to go to class late, super duper late and miss out on class time because she wanted to dismiss people by tables, especially because she's not telling the teachers that she put this into effect. So if I'm late, I have to go to ISS. And by that point in my life, I literally, and I'm not even BSing y'all, I literally never went to ISS a day in my life unless it was like, um, there was this one time where like, we had a big assembly in kindergarten and I was like one of the last people left and my teacher at the time was pregnant and I think she had went into labor or something. So the only person that could take us was the ISS lady. So that was the first time that I ever went to ISS. The second time I went to ISS, I think it was my junior or senior year. But even with that, it was like, I literally had never went to ISS. So it wasn't the fact that I was afraid of it. It's just, why would I put myself in a disciplinary situation that can be avoided because this bitch want to be weird? No. So as I'm telling him this, like, yeah, she didn't even tell the teacher. So that's stupid. I'm not about to go and be late to class. And then I get in trouble. She should have told the teachers. Tell me why he says, well, we were going to, I cut him off completely. I said, it's not no going to when this has been in effect for three months straight. You should have been did it. That way this could have been avoided. Now, can I get my pass? So then I got my pass. I went to class and everybody was doing busy work or whatever. And everybody was looking at me. Cause like I said, I almost dragged this bitch off the stage. They looking at me and they just like, what happened? I did not hold back. I told everybody everything. I even told my teacher. Cause like I said, I was a good student. You see me pop off, you know it's some bullshit that then went down. So I was very open about it. I was talking hella shit about that bitch. I let it be known I didn't like her. All of that, all of it. So then fast forward in time, I don't even remember like when it happened, what happened or whatever. But basically I had ended up having a conversation with the principal and he, I guess, heard about the situation or something. Basically all he heard was that I had got in trouble. Once again, I'm the type of kid where I don't get in trouble. So everybody was concerned, like girl, what happened? So I'm talking to him and I'm just like basically telling him like, you know, I didn't want to miss class. Like I didn't want to miss class time because she was you know, dismissing us by tables. The bell had already rung and this, that, and the third. So tell me why, as I'm telling my principal, all of this information, all of this stuff, you know, he sits there and he pauses and he's like, she did what? And I, oh, y'all, she didn't even run it by the principal. She didn't tell nobody. This was her own personal project. You gotta be a special kind of fucking stupid, bitch. You gotta be like literally up there dumb as hell because how you ain't even talk to the principal about it. And you know what he said to me? He sat there and he said like, I was wondering why it was such a large amount of kids going to ISS cause we already had a lot of kids going to ISS that were in middle school cause you know, they childish or whatever. But I was wondering why all of the kids that you know, been here for a while, we're starting to go to ISS and it's been in all grade levels. And I told him like, that's the reason, like she literally will wait until the bell rings to start dismissing people. And she didn't tell any of the teachers that this was her procedure. And it's been going on for months. Like it's literally been going on since the beginning of the school year starting, like since she got here. And that's why I left and I was on my way to come and talk to you about it because I'm just like, if I got to get removed or suspended or whatever, I'm willing to do that. But you know, I'm definitely going to tell my side of the story because nah, we not doing that. So long story short, I can't prove if this happened or not, but basically she ended up getting in trouble. And if you went to Taft High School from 2012 to 2016, that's the reason why she never did that ever again. That's the reason why it stopped. It wasn't because she got common sense and decided to, you know, like not do that anymore. It was because I got her in trouble and she had no choice but to stop. But one time when it was my senior year of high school, I'm not gonna lie, I skipped class. I did cause I hated that teacher and I was done with school. It did not count towards my grade or nothing. But one time I had skipped class with one of my, um, my friends at the time and she was a junior and she had a little brother that was a sophomore. And we went to go sit with them during lunch 
And you know this bitch was still dismissing people by tables. What the fuck is wrong with you? So basically what she was doing, whenever I would be in the lunch bell, she wouldn't do it. But when it came to the middle schoolers and the freshmen and the sophomores and stuff, she felt comfortable doing it. She felt real comfortable doing stuff like that because I wasn't there. Because she already knew, like, if she would have did it again after I initially got her in trouble, then, you know, she would have got in trouble again and possibly got fired. So that was the reason why she did not do that for the rest of our time having lunch with her. And y'all, you would think that's the end of the story, right? No. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Like I said, I legit had beef with this grown ass, old ass woman. So this was really just how the beef started. Okay, this was just the initial issue. Let's get into my junior year. Hi guys, it's Tasi from the future. So what happened was, this was all supposed to be one video, but I've decided to make it into two parts because of like, you know, I'm always having issues with my storage. That is definitely getting worked on. That will be fixed very, very soon. That will be fixed very soon. But for right now, you know, I'm still having issues with my storage. So what we're going to do for right now, I'm going to split this video into two different parts. So you are seeing this video right now and the next video i will try to get that out to you guys shortly so yeah thank you for watching part one don't forget to like comment your thoughts and opinions on this whole entire crazy situation so far because there is more to the story and of course share if you can so with that being said thank you for watching and i will see you next time but you